All right, guys, we're going to be making muffins this week. They're um, a little bit special, a little bit fancy, you could say. Um, they're savoury muffins, so they're going to be full of goat's cheese, um, some beautiful rainbow trout that's been smoked, it's going to be flaked and, and, and folded through there. Um, they're perfect for lunch and perfect for breakfast. You know, it's a little bit different, like I said, a little bit fancy, but really easy. So come with me and let's get it to, yeah, so close. Come with me and let's give it a shot. <laughs> Alright guys, so first step is we're going to fry up our leek and our garlic just so they're nice and tender and that's going to get folded through our muffin mix. So just whack it on the stove, you're just going to cook that down until it's nice and tender. Alright, so while our leek's cooking over there, what we're going to do is we're going to make our dry mix. So we've got two cups of flour, I'm just going to pop them straight in this bowl here, our mixing bowl. We've got a teaspoon and a half of baking powder here. So we've got about half a cup of some good quality parmesan cheese, straight in that bowl. So to that we're going to add a nice sort of pinch of this chilli salt we made earlier. So we're just going to add 160 mils of milk to our dry mix. So just measure it out. And then 220 grams of uh, some good quality natural Greek yoghurt, unsweetened. And just one egg. Alright, so that's sweating down nicely, just be careful not to burn it. You want it to sort of collapse and be nice and tender. So that needs about two more minutes. So we're just going to mix this up. Just fold it. So just a tablespoon or so, just a little bit extra milk. So that's looking perfect. What we're going to do is, I'm just going to turn it out onto a plate. And we're just going to pop that in the fridge. So we're going to let that cool down before we put it in the muffin mix. All right, it does make six, but we're only got five muffin papers, so that's all we're going to make today. Um, if you don't have these muffin papers, you can, you know, you can get cupcake holders if you want, or you can also just make sure you spray it really well, and they'll they'll fold out. So, but five today. All right, so that's been in there for about 20 minutes. It's sort of cooled down to about room temperature. So just straighten your bowl with your um your flowers and your palms and cheese. So make sure you combine all that leek in there really well, and then. We're just going to make a little well like this, and we're just going to flake our um, trout in the centre here. And we're just going to very gently fold it through. And that's perfect. See what I mean? You've got sort of nice big chunks of, uh, of the superstar rainbow trout. Alright, so that's the mix done. What we're going to do is just grab a spoon, and we're just going to scrape it on straight into the muffin tins. Into the muffin tins, just like that. So the last thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the goat's cheese on top. Just wet your thumb and we're just going to pop a little hole and that's where our goat's cheese is going to sit into, just like this. Alright, so that's our muffins done. We're going to throw them in the oven at 170 to 5. Oh, we're going to throw them in the oven 170, 170 to 5. 175 for about half an hour. Just pop them in there. Alright, so they've been in there for about half an hour. They should be ready. Let's have a look. Yes. Beautiful. So nice and carefully because they're warm. Let's pop them out. Alright, so that's our muffins. I'm just going to cut one open and we'll finish it off with a bit of our natural Greek yogurt and a little bit more chilli salt on top. Alright guys, that's our gorgeous savoury muffins. They're a little bit special, a little bit fancy, but so easy to make. So if you like our recipes, then do me a favour, click the love heart and subscribe. Um, it just means you'll never miss out on a recipe. We'll send them to you via email. We've got so much more to come, so yeah, click it. I'm going to smash this because I'm so hungry. This smells so good.